Hi, everybody. My name is Elspeth Eastman, and this video might be a little hard to make. I've been working with a speech therapist for the better part of July, and she's amazing. One of the things we've been working on pretty much for the last three or four sessions has been um, to feel the vibration of your own voice in your face. And that is such an odd statement because you can't, when you speak, um, you're, I guess, this is this is all new to me, this is all new to me. I guess you're supposed to kind of ride your breath. So when you speak and you feel these vibrations from your breath in your face, this is this is good. So I am having to retrain myself to speak like this instead of speaking like this. Like there's a massive freaking difference. There's no wonder that there's been so much vocal strain going on here and that I somehow developed a polyp when normally I could be speaking like this. When this happened in the therapy session, I wasn't expecting it at all. I was I was really more like this this is not going to change anything. And then it and then it did. It was just like a it was like a switch of Wow, I can't believe that I've been... I really didn't know how much tension I held in my throat. And it was like a release. It was like a vulnerability, I guess, that I was just kind of like sharing with my therapist. And and she she's so amazing. She's so amazing that she immediately under... She immediately saw the, her the difference. So that's that's what's been... That's what's been really difficult to try and do um, is get accustomed to this new, I guess, new way of speaking because so often do I feel closed off as a person. So often do I feel like, like because I was an introvert, I really had to like project more than I needed to do even when I was uncomfortable with that. And I didn't realize how much discomfort was actually going on daily with people, you know, because I'm a nervous person. I'm a little nervous human being. Now my voice is a little like eh, from from crying, but my voice, I can tell when it's when it's betraying me basically. I can tell when I feel uncomfortable. I can tell now so much more than before because I'm able to like relax those muscles. I'm able to notice that it's like it was like a, a clenched fist right and when you're like release that you you feel it you feel a huge difference so it's like a, it's like a relief so now my goal is to and i'm sorry i keep having to cut this and edit this but my goal is to not slip back into this i don't need to i guess maybe present myself in a different way and it it's so it's so freeing it's so freeing to 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 realize that again this was just Something that a part of me that was so closed off that I didn't even realize was closing itself. I just thought, oh, that's just my that's just my natural way of speaking. And I don't need to project like that. I don't need to, you know, take up the whole room with with a voice. I, I, I like my speech pathologist told me, uh, you are enough. And that made me cry, too. But you are enough. And if you need to hear this today, you're enough. And what you're doing is enough. I hope that you can get to that same kind of clarity. But thank you so much for watching and listening. I really appreciate you. And I am so grateful for those of you who have been so patient with me. I'm a go. Thank you, uh, Elspeth out. Have a great rest of your week. And I will see you all very soon on Twitch. I, I think. I hope. I know. I know. <sighs> Mm 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 m